In this state, you go out on your back porch and you shoot a shotgun because you think somebody's coming into your house. That's a felony. That's reckless conduct. And with all that lead flying out, Joe, you may hit what you're aiming at, but you're going to hit a lot of other people too. A woman from the teachers union testified at one of the hearings for one of the gun bills. And it was a very short testimony, and I'll quote her now. She said, guns do not belong in schools, period. So does she think that this sign is the answer? In case you're wondering here today why I have scissors in my pocket. Now I feel safe. I am what you call under the Homeland Security open carry. The scissors that you can buy today for your schools have a holster. I wear these scissors in the state on the floor of the house when we take on the Democrats and they look at me and they wonder why. I said because I'm ready to take on somebody with a gun. Multiple murders in this country occurred in gun-free zones. It's a neon light, an advertisement for nut jobs to come and kill as many innocent people as they possibly can because they know no one is going to be there to confront them. The only way to stop an evil person with a gun is by a good person with a gun. You all know that. It's a no-brainer. Something's wrong. Are these people, Democrats, progressive, are they that ignorant that they can't understand? That there's teachers, there's professors, there's um, people, administrators that have gun permits that know how to protect themselves. They, does anyone know who's carrying here unless you're open carry? Can you tell if I got a gun? I do. Okay. <laughs> Without arms, we're just another population of slaves who can be used and abused in any way that our leaders see fit. The bigger the government, the smaller the citizen. The bigger the government, the smaller the citizen. The bigger the government, the smaller the citizen. And that's what progressives want. If one of the first things you do when you take office, is submit a bill that violates that oath, you have no right to be there in my view. As far as I'm concerned, you should be removed. The most terrifying words in the English language are, I'm from the government and I'm here to help. That's our government. What a joke. The bigger the government, the bigger the government! So what shall we do to government? Tell the senators and the state reps we are tired of them stepping on our constitutional rights. And leave our damn guns alone! We are not going to tolerate one more day of this infringement on our rights to the Constitution and our right to keep and bear arms. Come and take it! Come and take it! Come and take it! Come and take it! Come and take it!